Hey, I heard that starting from next month, they're increasing the tax on our fishing catches. And as usual, it's those damn Japanese. Yeah, we'll have to pay it. The Japs have taken over Shanghai. Wherever you look now, they're in control. Gets worse every day. It all looks bad. There's just no hope for us. Have you gone blind? Sorry, sorry. We were all arguing. They said that karate is useless and boxing's better. So I said that it couldn't be. That karate was much more useful. And everybody knows that. And then they both beat me up. Right. <laughs> hey, what is it? From what I hear, you two would like a karate demonstration. I'm sorry, we're busy. Hold it! Huh. Hold it! You're just a couple of cowards! Ah! <laughs> Come on, come on.
You're nearly home now. Excited? Yeah, I am a little. It's good to be back. Time goes so quickly, huh? Mm. It's been ten years since I left to go to the States. But it doesn't seem that long. Eileen. Hmm? But I'm worried. In case you don't like it here. No. Your country is my country now. Remember the Chinese proverb, when you marry a man, you marry his country too. <sighs> Eileen. The problem is your father was so rich. And you've been used to the good life. Life with me won't be like that. But that doesn't worry me, not in the least. Remember the time when you won the lightweight championship? I was so thrilled, I almost jumped into the ring. I'll never forget that. It was the night that I met you. And then after the match, because you were the first Chinese ever to win there, the reporters wanted to know how you were feeling. And I said... I remember. You said you were trained in Chinese boxing. That was your foundation. And that this was one of the finest boxing systems in the world, without a doubt. And everybody there applauded you. And then and there, I fell in love with you. What's the matter? I'm sorry. I brought it all back. I'd forgotten. No. Don't be sorry. I must learn to live with it. Bill's father was the man who'd helped me get into boxing in America, done everything for me, and to repay him for all his kindness, I'd killed his son. That's that, I'm gonna leave America. And go back home. And I swore. I'd never use my fists again. trouble. Yeah. You idiots! Fools! Why is there no progress? A hundred thousand troops have been landed in Shanghai, and more are coming. Hmm. The reason we're here is so that we can exploit the area financially. We must raise taxes. 
Our own economy needs it. This is a poor area. But fishing catches are good. So that's our job. To exploit the fishing community for every cent we can get out of them. Right? Well then, just how far have you got with this? <sighs> well, when we first started, things went fairly smoothly. But then, we started to meet some resistance. Finally, someone killed Uda. And after they killed him, they hung him up. So we weren't sure what to do. I mean, we didn't want to start anything, not while you were away, and so we waited for you. Just how was Uda killed? Uh, we're not sure. But still, he was killed before he was hung up. Dig him up. Check again. Hey, you. I want you to go and grab one of the Chinese and then string him up in public somewhere near the village. But who? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Just as long as he's Chinese, that's all that counts. To act as a warning. That in future, if any Japanese is harmed at all, then we'll seize one of the Chinese and kill him and then hang him up. <laughs> You're right, sir, and I know just the one. Listen, lately, young Sao Chung is always talking against the Japanese here. Also, there's that young brother of his. What's enough? That's Sao Chung there. You there. You kill Uda. I was out of my boat when he was killed. But we have a witness here, though. How about that? Who's that? Huh. I heard you many times telling your friends that Uda ought to die. Uh. And this bum's word is your evidence? And what if I did say that? I was right. He was a pig. That right. That's enough evidence for me. Kill him! Information received, the villager Sao Chung was found to be guilty of murdering Japanese national Mr. Uda. He was therefore executed. His body has been ordered to hang in public for the next three days. Any person who tries to remove the body within this period will also be executed. are going to be more careful in future if they know what's good for them. Shut up. <laughs> These local people can be unpredictable. It's quite possible that they'll try to get the body back. 
I'd better stay for a while. Well, they might come in force. What then? Hmm. If they do, we'll kill them. Hey, you. And you. If they should make an attack on us in force, then you may have to use your swords on them. Right. right. We can't let him hang there. We've got to get him. No, no, no. Now, look. That's what they want. Probably just what they're waiting for. I'm sure. I know that murderer, Taka. He's a mean swine. Be patient. Just wait now. Our time will come. What's this? Like it? Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is nice. And it doesn't seem to have changed very much. See that pool there? I used to spend half my life there as a kid. Uh -huh. Hey, hey! Now hold it now. You can't go in there. Uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> well, just who are you? And why can't we go in there? Uh, well, you see, it isn't safe. If you go there, you'll get hurt. I'm only telling you for your own good now. <laughs> Shh. Tell you something. The others will say that I'm mad. But I'm not, though. <laughs> well, tell me then. What's happening there? Oh, you see, they killed Sao Chong. Uh, and then they hung his body up. And anyone who tries to take him down, they'll kill him. <laughs> Shh. If nobody dares cut him down, I'll do it. Are you? You're not scared? I'm not scared. Really? Really. Uh, oh, that's good. That's good. Look, I'll help you with this. <laughs> right? Nobody will come to get the body. They're too scared. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Who's this? Uh, you see? That's Sao Chung's body there. <laughs> My God, it's true. Uh, uh, and those guys are going to kill you if you try to get him down. Oh. Uh, uh, you sorry? You promised to cut him down. Uh, you, if so, you, you don't have to. Stay here. I'm going. No. Hey, come on, it's Chuck Hawk! Yeah, everybody! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You know, you're really very lucky to get yourself a wife like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice of you. And Chan's told me a great deal about you. He's told me how you brought him up and sent him to school, and then finally gave him the money so he could go to the States. <laughs> oh, well, I think he deserved it. <laughs> Nephew, now, now tell me how you got on in America. Quite hard at first. Didn't know anyone. Couldn't even speak the language. But then, I developed some good contacts in the boxing world. Oh, and you did well too, huh? Now then, how long will you be staying here? A long time. I'm not going back there. Oh, and why not? Everybody tells me you were doing so well in the state. They say you could be world champion. Yes, he could. But now he's decided he wants to leave the boxing world. That's why we're here, looking for a place to settle down. <laughs> sure. I want some land to build a house. Not too big. Uncle Wong, I was hoping you'd help us. Sure. A very good idea, you bang a house. And in the meantime, while you're looking around, you stay here. <laughs> Granddad. Oh. Ha Wong. Come here. Let me introduce your uncle and his wife. Hello. Hello. Oh, my gosh. You have grown. You were a baby when I left. He's a man now. <laughs> uncle Chan, you couldn't have come at a better time. You see, we need someone to train us. Uh, to teach us all how we can fight and then resist the Japanese. Tao Chong. Your uncle's looking for a place to settle down and where he can live a quiet life. He's not here to fight. Maybe. But I don't think he'll have any choice. The way things are, the Japs obviously intend to control all China. Just look, they're in Shanghai. Next thing, we'll see their troops here in the village, taking over our land. Who's going to live peacefully then? There is no alternative. At some point or other, we'll have to fight. All right. Your uncle and aunt must be very tired. You can discuss this some other time. Ooh, ooh. Damn it! What came over you then? Why'd you let that fellow get away with that, huh? Tell me. I don't get it. We must have lost a lot of face there. Mm. I felt we ought to be careful. He's something special. Oh? That should have been obvious, the way he acted. And we've got too much at stake right now. So we'll play it cool. We've a job to do. And that's to raise money here. Only one thing's important. To keep control of the fishing junks. So then. I'm going to be very careful how I deal with this guy. That's all very well, but what about the fishermen? They'll all follow him. He'll be their leader. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be seeing him again very soon, talk things over. Just to keep him sweet for the moment. Then when my plans are finally made, it won't matter what he does. <laughs> You see, practically all the young men are out fishing. And all the rest are repairing the nets. Hey, you know what? I'd like to go over there fishing myself. Oh, and then maybe I can come with you. Oh, I guess that you could. But you'll have to learn how to go barefoot. Eh, go barefoot? I can do that. Oh? Just watch. <laughs> now look. <laughs> Put them back on. It's not so simple. It'll take quite a while. Huh? Come on. It's them. It's all right. Just a stroll. Huh. 
Well, I'm afraid you can't. No way. This road's closed. Well, you heard him. It's closed. Whose orders? Who said so? Doesn't really matter. If it's closed, we'll go some other way. Come on. Now wait. You can answer some questions before you go. <laughs> and if I don't? You'll see. <laughs> right. Ask them. Where have you come from? And what do you want? I've been to the States and just come back. It's my home. I was born in this place. Now then, can I ask what you're doing here? Huh? <laughs> but still, she wasn't born here, I'll bet you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> No, sir, that's for sure, huh? Damn you! What do you hit me for? <laughs> you listen! Tell your boss I'm coming to have a talk with him. And in the meantime, get lost! I hope that your uncle's going to train us. Have you asked him? I mention it. But I don't know. From what his wife says, seems he's not fighting now. Hey? Well, that's a great pity. Still, we have to go ahead, though. It's not that simple. Those Japs are much too strong for us. Right now, we wouldn't have a hope in hell with them. Only one man can help us, and that's my uncle. So let's hope he decides to do it. Wait! It's me! Hey, 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 it's just me! All right, what do you want? Uh, 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 Get out of here! Go on! Uh, 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 I want to stay. Uh, I want to train as well and learn some boxing. Uh, then I can fight the Japs. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. We'll let you stay. But don't tell anyone. Uh, I promise I won't tell anyone. Uh, he's crazy. We just can't trust him. Uh-uh. For sure. Hey, 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 that's not true! We're wasting time. Come on, let's practice. Yeah. Uh, hey, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, it's not too far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, there you are then. How, how are you? <laughs> now, come on. Where are you fellas going to? Uh, 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 find girls? <laughs> My friend here is very keen to try some Chinese girls. Can you get him one? Sure I can. Anything for you. But where? <laughs> Not far. In fact, right here. Just look over there. <laughs> How's that? Good. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, all right. You fix it. Well, of course. Sure, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Apparently, she ought to be clean. <laughs> Tell me, where's your father, huh? <laughs> Why do you ask? Uh, the Japanese, over there. They want to buy some fish. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have to wait until he comes back home. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I'm going home. Let me go. Just a loop. into our business. Uh, uh, isn't Leslie Lee Sean and he's her boyfriend? Yeah, and you better stop messing with our women or there's going to be trouble. Seems to me that you Chinese are getting much too big for your boots. It's time you were taught a lesson. Get him! What does poor mother do now? God, I don't suppose he'll come away alive. I'll go and get him. And I'll go with you. Right. <laughs> hey, Nashville! For God's sake, be careful now, they're dangerous! <laughs> to tell you anything. Shut up. Just keep your mouth closed. He attacked this man here. Tried to murder him. Huh. Well, I don't believe a word of that. So you go ahead and cut him loose. If you can take three blows from me, I'll let him go. Huh? <laughs> Chen Kuang, you better be careful. Because this gentleman is said to be the top karate expert in Hokkaido. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
He may have promised you, but I didn't. Hold it! When a Japanese gives his word, then he doesn't break it. All right, now let that man go. I'm sorry. I arrived a little late. Still, it's all right now. One thing that I'm anxious to avoid is a serious misunderstanding. I mean, we should cooperate. It's quite peaceful here, and we should both try to keep it that way. <laughs> well, I've only just come back. So for the moment, I'll reserve judgment. But still, this is Chinese territory. And I hope that you'll tell all your men to keep it in mind. Or else there will be trouble here. <laughs> of course. And if something should crop up again, then I hope we can get together and settle the thing peacefully. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll leave it like that. How are you feeling? Looking a bit better, I must say. Fine, thanks. Are you all right? <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm all right. Well, I'm proud of you. That was a brave thing, taking all that punishment like you did. Ah, it wasn't all that bad. Uncle Chan, I'd admire what you did, but it'll only encourage the Japs. Oh? They won't even think you're tough. Oh, no. All they'll see is that you back down. Ah, it was the only thing to do, though. Maybe it was, but the fact remains, nothing's been solved. I mean, we're just where we were. You saved him, I know that. But still, the same could happen tomorrow. How often can you do this? What do you think ought to be done? We're very poor here, and that's our strength. There's not much here, and the Japs know it. Now then, if we give them a lot of trouble, then they'll pull out. It won't be worth their while. Maybe, but why not leave it to your uncle? He's had more experience. No. I think the boy's right. Kuro. Yeah? How many of the fishermen still owe us tax? At a guess, I would have said it's about 90%. Perhaps maybe more of them. Why is that? I guess it must be on account of the war. The fishermen are too scared to go out. Also, it's because the rate of taxes is more than they can afford to pay. Hmm. Well, you tell them that they have until the end of the week to get the money. But, boss, I really don't think that they have the money. Yeah, they seem to be in a bad way. That's right. Last time we collected, my God, I thought they were all going to riot. <laughs> if they can't pay, then we can start confiscating their things. But they've nothing worth seizing. The junks. If we take the junks, then they can't go fishing, and we'll never get the tax. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Why do you always have to argue? I know exactly what I'm doing. I've had orders. Our government wants those junks. Right! Junks! 500 junks! Uh, well, all right, boss. What shall we do then? Go on out. And confiscate the junks. Right. We'll start tomorrow. I'll tell the men. Tomorrow? You idiot! Get out and start right away! Right, right, right. <laughs> Ah! 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 
alive and you paid your tax. <laughs> 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 Those Japs, they're going crazy now. This business with the taxes, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. They know that no one has the money to pay. Well, what do they want? Don't know, but we'll watch them. They're up to something. What do you want with me? To kill you! Welcome, welcome. <laughs> nice to see you. A pleasant surprise. You didn't know I'd come? Well, that surprises me. Hmm? Where's all that blood come from? Huh? Oh. You see, some stray dogs attacked me back on the road. Huh? You mean you've got some complaint against me? Your men have arrested the fishermen and taken their junks. What I want to know is, who ordered this? And just what their authority is? Huh? First time heard of this. I know nothing about this at all. Hmm. So you didn't know? Huh? You there, sir. Well, is this true? Uh, I think it may have been Kuro and Kojima. Idiots! You go out and find them. And tell them to come here. Right. I'm sorry. I'm as concerned as you are to see that things run smoothly here. And I can guarantee you there'll be no repetition of this sort of thing in the future. <laughs> I don't care whose fault it is. But I'll tell you this. As long as I'm here in the village, 
This had better not happen again. I'm going. <laughs> See you again. Goodbye. Where's Kuro? He's out arresting the fishermen. Come on. Go on. Come on. Move. Leave me alone. Come on. All right, then. See that they're locked up. Right. Come on, move. Get away. Fighting with her? Oh. Same mark we found on Uda. All right. You're gonna find this killer. I don't care what you do. Just make sure you bring me this killer. Hey. Hey. Now wait. Huh? Put up a notice. No junk is to sail without my permission.
How are you feeling now? Oh, not too bad. Tan Kwong lives right here. Oh. Search it. Okay. Come on, come on! Come on! So they've come. Up and up! I can handle them. I won't let come you. Up and up. Your wound hasn't healed. We'll try and hide you. Open this door! Get my hand open the door! In here. Quick. Open this door! Open. Right. All right, then. Let's break it down. Oh. Is it? We want to search. Well, we've got nothing to hide. Oh. Right. 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 Hey! Stop. Nobody around here. Right. Mm. Now please leave. Go on. Ah, so your husband and I home. Ah. Come on. <laughs> They really had me worried for a minute. Lucky I changed my mind. Oh. All right. You can get out. Oh. Have they gone? Yes. Come on. Better go to your room now. Yeah. Come on, you fooled us. Well, we're not that dumb. Get him! Run! What's happening with them? They've been arrested, and so what? And what for? Let them go! Huh. Not damn likely. If that's how you want it. Thank you. Thank you. you saved That's us. all right. You better go home now. Mr. Chan! Mr. Chan! The Japs! The Japs have been to your home! We 
found him in hiding, a chance. Huh? Hmm. I see. I guess it was you. <laughs> <laughs> You better let us go, before my husband comes for us. <laughs> I'm afraid that I'll be too busy to see him. Hey, boss, I think we should get rid of them. No, not yet. I intend to have some fun with them. Take them inside and lock them up. Right. Take them inside. Okay, come on. I... No. Get out. Get out. Come on. Get out. Koja. Yeah? There's something you've got to do urgently. Take some men down to the quayside, and then set fire to all the junks you can. Huh? But don't we need them? Well, I've just received a signal in from Shanghai. Been a change of plan. It seems the army will be landing here shortly. So we'll burn the junks to be on the safe side. Now you go on and see to it. Right. I'll go now. The Japs came in here. They took your wife and Yang Wang. Huh? Get them. Put an end to them. Once and for all. <laughs> Uncle Wang. Oh my God! Uncle Wang! Idea where she is? Come on, speak up. Uh, uh, oh sure, I seen her yesterday. She gave me some supper to eat. Uh, Idiot! I mean, since then. Uh, hey, hey! Don't go yet. Uh, uh, I got some news. Uh, important news. Must tell you. Uh, uh, you must know. Now look, I've no time. I got to try and find my wife. Uh, uh, listen, uh, the Japanese. They're going to set fire to the junks. Right. Yeah, that's right. They said they'll burn them, every single one of them. That's right. Yeah, that's why I look for you, so you can come and stop them doing it. Uh, uh, but still, I guess you want to find your wife first. No, I'll save the junks. It's more important.
What do you want? Guess you're trying to meddle again. <laughs> no, I just want to kill you! Huh? Get him! <laughs> Now then, you're both gonna get what you've been asking for. It's your own fault for resisting the Jap. Now take me, I'm the smart one. You can see just how well they treat me. Huh? That old rat, you shut your mouth. Huh? Watch your tongue, you. When Tucker gets back here, he's gonna kill you, Bo. I promise you that, and I'm gonna have a lot of pleasure in watching him. Lousy traitor, you'll pay for this. Listen, just ignore him. Chen Kuang will fix him. Hmm? Chen Kuang? <laughs> yeah? And just what makes you think he'll be coming here? <gasps> Don't think he will. In fact, I'm quite sure. You see, Mr. Tucker's ready and waiting for him now. But still... He's gonna be leaving a very pretty little widow behind. And that's a terrible pity, huh? 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 <laughs> now then, you two, get out, get out. Go! 
know. <laughs> you swine, you swine. <laughs> So now then, we got the time. Let's see what you like. <laughs> oh, stop it! You rat! Stop it! Leave it alone! Can't want here. I damn you! Kwan. I'm sorry I had to do it this way. Hmm. I really have quite a lot of respect for you. I don't like doing it. But I was forced to do it to stop you meddling. Meddling? Huh. I tried to stop you killing my friends and robbing the village blind, and you call it meddling! Hmm. <laughs> now look, you're being naive now. I'll explain it to you. In exactly three days from now, the Japanese troops will be landing here. Huh? And that's why I had all the junks destroyed, just in case they'd be used to resist the landing. Sorry. That's how they will be used. I promise you that. Huh. I don't think so. They're already destroyed. Huh. Is that right? I sent my best men down to do the job. <laughs> they never got there. I stopped them. So you've killed Koja. Well, that's a great pity. But still, the game isn't finished yet. I've still got your wife. Listen. I release her unharmed if you leave here and get out of my hair. <laughs> you listen. You let her go, and you get out of here. And I'll see you get out of here alive. <laughs> I should leave here? <laughs> Our troops are going to be occupying the whole of this country within the next 12 months. And that's a fact. So let's be realistic about this. Well, maybe you're right, but that's not the end of it. The Chinese will resist you every foot of the way. And that's a fact, too. But we haven't settled our problem yet. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems like there's only one way we can settle it, too. Right. Thank <laughs> you. 